the first act, Grandpa is restless. He's waiting for Susan to come over for dinner. Is that you, Susan? Since Grandpa retired, he has too much free time. I'm retired. But I'm bored. <laughs> what does Grandpa want to do? you, Susan? It's me, Grandpa. Oh, am I glad to see you. And am I glad to see you. I am also glad to be here. <laughs> mm. How are things? I have been talking to a group of salesmen since 10 this morning, and I'm real exhausted. <laughs> well, you look good. What's Harry doing tonight? He and Michelle are visiting relatives in New Jersey today. <laughs> The rest of our family went to the movies. So it's just you and me, Susan. It's nice to be alone with you, Grandpa. Mm -hmm. We don't get to see enough of each other. No, oh, I feel the same way, Susan. I miss seeing you. Uh, to tell the truth, next time, I'd like to go into the city and meet you there, instead of you coming here. You don't need to do that, Grandpa. <laughs> yeah, I do. I need to get out more. Uh, well, I, I mean, there's a lot to do around the house, and I love being here with the family, you know, but I'm restless. Since I retired, I've got extra time on my hands. I understand, Grandpa. I think you do. Frankly, I'd like to use my brain a little more. Grandpa? You have so much energy and so many years of experience. There are probably a lot of places for you to work, particularly in the construction field. But at my age, I'm not looking for a full-time job. I'm retired. But I'm bored. <laughs> well, there must be something. Hmm. Maybe I can help. Let's go into the kitchen. And maybe you can help me set the table. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. What are we having? I prepared lamb chops, and mashed potatoes, and a tossed green salad to begin with. Grandpa, you are a terrific guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're still thinking about something to do, aren't you? A job of some kind. That's right. I've been thinking about it for weeks now. There must be some way to put my mind to good use. We'll find a solution. A positive solution to your finding a way to use that wonderful mind of yours. Now, past, Grandpa is waiting for Susan. Is that you, Susan? Grandpa has been waiting for Susan since noon.
Grandpa has been waiting. Susan has been working since 10 o'clock this morning. Susan has been working. But she isn't working now. It's me, Grandpa. Oh, am I glad to see you. Grandpa isn't working. But he's been finding things to do. He's been finding. Grandpa is thinking about getting a job. You're still thinking about something to do, aren't you? A job of some kind. That's right. I've been thinking about it for weeks now. I've been thinking. Maybe he'll get a job soon. In the second act, Susan talks with Sam, her assistant, about her grandfather's problem. I thought he was retired and pleased to be living with the family. He is, but there's so much energy and talent in the man and he doesn't get to use it. Susan thinks her boss, John Marchetta, may be able to help. So she meets with Mr. Marchetta and explains the problem. He needs to work. In fact, that is the reason why I'm here to see you. Maybe Mr. Marchetta can help. Sam, would you come in, please? You sound like something's bothering you, Susan. The sketches for the cover of the new doll book? That's not it. Please sit down. Sure. I need your advice on a personal matter, but it's not about me. Ah, you need my advice on a personal matter, and it's not about you, okay? It's about my grandfather. What's the problem? It won't sound like a big deal, but it is. I had dinner with him Saturday, and he's very unhappy about not working. I thought he was retired and pleased to be living with the family. He is. But there's so much energy and talent in the man, and he doesn't get to use it. Oh, what can I do? What kind of advice are you looking for? Simply this. John Marchetta runs this company. He founded this company. Right. John Marchetta gave me my start here. Six years ago, when I first graduated from college, he gave me the chance to use my talents and made me feel more confident. Right. Maybe he can do the same thing for your grandfather. Or at least give him some advice. Right. Then I've solved your problem. <laughs> <laughs> I can always depend on you, Sam. <laughs> I'm glad to help. Shall I call Mr. Marchetta for you? No, no, I'll do that. Thanks. Now, how's the Stewart family? Fine, thank you, Mr. Marchetta. Except for my grandfather. What's wrong, Susan? What's wrong with him? He needs to work. In fact, that is the reason why I'm here to see you. I know you're building a new factory, and I thought, maybe... My grandfather is so experienced in the construction trade, he could be so valuable. Tell him to come and see me at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. I have an idea that may solve the problem for him, help a lot of other people. Really, Mr. Marchetta, can I tell him that? Sure can. 10 o'clock in the morning, here. Oh, thank you.
sound like something's bothering you, Susan. Something is bothering you. Tell me what could it be? Let me know why you're worried. You can tell me, whoa, what seems to be the problem? What can I do? You can tell me what it is. I'd like to help you, whoa. What's the matter? What's the matter? Hey, oh. What's the matter? What's the matter? Hey, oh. Won't you tell me what's the matter? Hey, oh. Is something wrong? Hey, oh. What seems to be the trouble? Hey, oh. Tell me, tell me what's up? Hey, oh. What's wrong, Susan? What's the problem? What can I do? There is something on your mind. Something's bothering you. Everybody sing. What's the matter? What's the matter? Hey, oh. What's the matter? What's the matter? Hey, oh. Won't you tell me what's the matter? Hey, oh. Is anything wrong? Hey. In the third act, Grandpa meets with John Marchetta. Hi, I'm uh, Malcolm Stewart. John Marchetta. And Grandpa tells Mr. Marchetta about his experience in the construction business. Forty-three years. Half that time in my own construction company. And he explains his problem. There isn't any work for a retired person my age. So John Marchetta tells Grandpa about an organization called TOPS. TOPS, T-O-P-S, means Talented Older People's Society. How can TOPS help? Stewart. John Marchetta. Sit down. Sit down. Well, Susan has told me a great deal about you. She says you're quite a man. She says a lot of wonderful things about you, too, Mr. Stewart. <laughs> That's always nice to hear, Mr. Marchetta. Call me John. May I call you Malcolm? Mm -hmm. Let's talk business. That's music to my ears. I understand you used to be in the construction business. Yep. Forty-three years. Here's a brief description of 43 years of on-the-job training. <laughs> that is some history. You're a valuable asset, Malcolm. Very valuable. Thank you. Yep. 43 years. Half that time in my own construction company. Big jobs, uh, factories, shopping malls, that kind of thing. Then you retired. Yes. After my wife died, and I felt I should spend more time with my children and grandchildren. I lived in Florida, and they lived in New York. I understand. My daughter, Cammie, lives in New York. I like being near her. Mm. When I came here, I planned to take a few months off, relax with the family, and then look for some work. Put my experience on the line. But, unfortunately, there isn't any work for a retired person my age. Sometimes there is, and sometimes there isn't. Well, I'm involved with an organization, and we're trying to resolve that problem. What's that? TOPS. T-O-P-S. Means Talented Older People's Society. Oh, I'd like to be a member. 
How much are the Jews? There are no Jews. The organization serves major companies in this city. Why? Because our members are men and women like you. Experienced, talented, retired. But our members want to go out there and use their talents. They want to work. That is fantastic, John. I've got an idea for you, Malcolm. Just fill out this form for me. It'll only take a few minutes. Sit right here and do it while I talk to my secretary. When I get back, we'll talk about my new factory. My company's a member of Tops, so I try hard to find opportunities for people like you, Malcolm. And when I see an opportunity, I can act on it. Well, I can use your brain power on the job right now. Have you got time this morning to go over to the construction site with me? I'd like to have you meet my foreman, get some background on the job. I've got plenty of time. I'll be right back. We'll go over to the job site together. Malcolm, you worked on the spaceport project? My company was a contractor. <laughs> I built the theater there with my own two hands, practically. <laughs> I understand. Well, I'm glad to see you two guys getting along so well. Because, Danny, Malcolm is on the tops team. He's going to be working with you for a while. His experience will be valuable to both of us. Welcome aboard, Malcolm. I'm going back to my office. Give me a call later, Malcolm. I'll tell you the time and date of the next TOPS meeting. I'd like you to meet the group. I will, John. And again, thanks. No, thank you. And thanks, Susan. He's quite a man. A real inspiration for me. OK, Danny. I know you didn't expect to have me around, but I think I can be of some help to you. Let me tell you something, Malcolm. With your background and experience, I can learn something. And I do need some advice on a difficult problem. Let me show you this. Oh. I uh, don't want to give you a final opinion without studying these building plans more carefully. But a simple solution might be to move the air conditioning units instead of redesigning the entire system. It might be simpler and less expensive. You just earned your weight in gold, Malcolm. Welcome aboard. It all happened so quickly. I can't believe it. I'm glad Mr. Marchetto was so helpful. He was more than helpful. He actually took me to meet his foreman. I'm thrilled for you, Grandpa. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you, Susan. You're a wonderful granddaughter. It's good to see you so happy. I'll be at the construction site tomorrow. What are you doing tomorrow night? I'm not doing anything. Why? How about a date with your grandfather? I owe you a good steak dinner. I'll accept. Tomorrow night, you and me, dinner. What time? I'll pick you up here at 7. Is that okay? I can't wait. And you can tell me all about your first full day back on the job. It's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm Stewart, we want to know. Who is he and what has he done? That's what we want to find out. We'd like to know, so what do you say? We take a look at his resume. Here's a brief description of 43 years of on-the-job training. Name, address, and phone number. That's a good way to begin. Now we know where to write or call if we want to contact him. Where did Malcolm go to school? We need that information. 
We'd like to find out where and when he got his education. Bachelor of Science in Engineering in 1938. Master of Science in Engineering in 1940. That's great! We need a brief summary of Malcolm's work history. You mean his work experience. He was president for 22 years of Malcolm Stewart Associates. What did he build? He built things like Spaceport Project. Orlando Civic Center. Henderson Shoe Factory. Florida Sun and Health Club. Titusville Mall. And Dade County Art Center. And before that... Vice President. Harrison and Styles Building Corporation. And before that... Senior Engineer. Harrison and Styles Building Corporation. And before that... Project Engineer. Guilford Construction Company. And before that... Foreman. Brancusi Brothers. And before that, he was in the Navy. Seaman First Class. <laughs> There's some history. You're a valuable asset, Malcolm.